Hello, my name is Judy Swigert and I'm the superintendent here at Greater Latrobe School District. Um, I was just reminded that today is Friday, March 13th. I'm not sure I should be doing this today, but um, we're going to go with it. Um, I'd like to talk about three things um, that's going on in the school district. Obviously there's many, but I'd like to highlight three. Uh, number one, um, this month, actually last Tuesday, um, Mr. Ingle gave a presentation before the school board about dual enrollment opportunities for our senior high school students. And I just want to reinforce um, uh, the message of the importance of dual enrollment and how this program has created opportunities for our high school students. Um, and the main focus of it is to provide what we call college in the classroom, which means that a student, um, if interested, can actually enroll and take college credit while they're in high school, generally pay a reduced fee, and earn these college credits and have a college transcript as they graduate and move on. Obviously, one of the benefits is to go into a college or university with some credits, so it reduces, number one, the time that the student might, sp might spend there, but in addition, reduce the cost that the parent or the student might have to pay while they're there. Um, it would be impossible for me to go through every course that is offered at the senior high school that you can take for dual enrollment, but I would encourage every parent to contact their school guidance counselor to inquire about this if interested. It really is a wonderful program and one that we are encouraging our students but also expanding the service. The second area I'd like to address with everyone is another program that was uh, has been talked about at the board level for several months, but this past week Mr. Owens, who is the Technology Education Department teacher leader, talked with the school board about. This program is a STEM initiative in the school district and it is called Project Lead the Way. Um, the district uh, about a, maybe two or three weeks ago did receive notice that we were receiving a grant in the amount of about $135,000 over two or three years depending on the level. That is an initiative to, um, uh, in, the, to, in the present curriculum, to add STEM-related courses, some of them embedded in our present courses and some at the junior and senior high school that are actually new courses. And that's what Mr. Owens was speaking about with the board. There is an eighth grade course, a ninth grade course, and several courses at the high school that are technology ed related that the students will be receiving dual enrollment totally tied to the STEM, which is the science technology curriculum. Um, and this is an area of one that we're also greatly um, encouraged by because it also offers dual enrollment opportunities. The last area I'd like to talk about is the budget. Um, it is uh, March, as I said at the beginning, and you are clearly aware that um, the governor has recently um, presented his budget um, as a new governor, I think he presented it on March 3rd. Normally it's in February, but it was a month later because he was just um, uh, elected. Um, his budget clearly um, denotes education as a special interest and one where he has aligned additional dollars um, re to receive next year. Um, we know that there will be great debate in Harrisburg about whether that money will be forthcoming. Um, so, as a district, we are very cognizant of that. Uh, Mr. Watson gave a report as to the dollars that were earmarked for Greater Latrobe in this particular case um, in this budget. Um, but please be aware, we do know that um, with the discussions um, that will be happening, um, we need to be very careful as to whether to count that money or not as money as revenue. So, we're hoping. Um, that this will be something that we're able to use to um, work for uh, improved academic achievement, but we also recognize that it's, it's um, one that we need to keep an eye on. 
So more discussion about that at the board level, I'm sure, uh, will be happening. Um, and we welcome everyone to come to our school board meetings. We have a committee of the whole and a regular meeting every month, and you can certainly check our, web our website um, for any updates on those. So thank you very much. Please feel free, as always, to give us a call if you have some questions, concerns, or just input. Thank you.